$5,000 ticket, the old BGC. Now it's just an abbreviation, Buffalo Gold Collection. By the way, remind me to tell you about this shirt because I, uh, well, that's a long story. But anyway, I digress. We've fired at this how many times now, EJ Six? and WBG? Yeah. Yeah. Six, Six times. times. We've won maybe once or twice? Twice. At least twice. At least yeah. twice, and we've gotten wrecked. But we, the ever-elusive 15 Buffalo Heads has escaped us thus far. So we're going to get it this time and watch because it's happening right now. All right, here we go again. So this game, you need three coins. That's all there is to it. That's it? Yep. Three coins. It's simple. Three coins is all you need. And, uh, oh, yeah. What are we going to bet? 30 bucks or 60 bucks? Let's start with 30. Why not? All right. Let's start out easy. Uh, all right, we'll ease into it. See how the, the volume. Oh, my God. Oh, First spin points, Johnson. all you need. Should have been. Should have been betting 60. No. Well, glad I wasn't. Uh, and what do you get when you get the three coins? You get the buffalo yes. bonus. Now let me tell you about the buffalo bonus. Hopefully I can tell you about it. No way, I'll, I'll show you about it. No. It's not as easy as it looks to get. So the other day we were uh, on a live stream and some guy was playing this game near us and he goes, hey Vegas Mac, come over here. Betting $6. Right. He got the 15 buffalo heads. How much do you think he won? A lot, like I, a I forget, fit, but it was like a 30, lot. Thirty-five hundred, maybe. No, twenty thousand. He won twenty thousand on a six-dollar really? bet. Yes. And we're betting wow. so five times as much, so we would have won a hundred thousand. So, so that's like, what we've been always been saying. We're going to get a hundred thousand-dollar bonus on this. Yeah, it's possible. If if and when you get all fifteen buffalo heads, and then he also had like forty-five or fifty spins. Yeah, a lot of spins. So you're saying that you need more than just coins. You need coins and spins, and then re-spins, yeah. Yeah. And I, I was thinking about it, and I think the record is... What we're using for equipment. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. I gotta think about that. So, I think the record is three losses, two wins, and one break-even. So I think it's, yeah, I think it's two wins, three losses, and one where you were like, yeah, you know what, we still have, we'll, we'll take this money and come back and try again. I'm not sure, maybe somebody can fact check that for us. Yeah. We've, but we've played it multiple times, many, many times. Oh, hold on, drinks are here. Oh, okay. We got our ginger beer. So we need to get the bonus. Press the button. Uh, yeah, we need to. So, oh, that's oh, that's, cool. that's really good. Oh, that would have been massive, guys, if we had gotten another buffalo there. I think we're winning now, though. It's sensational, it says. Is it a hand ping? I don't think so. Nine hundred dollars. Take that. Squid. I was gonna say something too. Oh, look at that. Uh, wow, I like what I'm seeing here. $180. So on this shirt, it was so funny because you guys give me this shirt to wear. Yeah. And I'm like, and then and then I'm like, what's that shirt? And then you're like, well, it's one of our shirts. And I'm like, well, does it say Vegas Mad on it? And then you're like, no. And I'm like, well, what the hell kind of shirt is that? And then you started explaining it to me. And uh, who was the guy that invented the slot machine? Charles Fay. So Charles Fay invented the slot machine. Right. And this, the design on this shirt is the original slot machine. It's an it it's ode a, to it, at least. Yeah, it's right? inspired by the Liberty Bell slot machine. All that. And, the original uh, 1894. Thought, and then now all of a sudden, I think it's now I think it's cool. And, yeah. Uh, well, not everyone wants to wear your name on a shirt. You know, you got to give them options. Yeah. Well, who does want to wear my name on a shirt? <laughs> so that uh, I, I think that's it's kind of cool, and that's a, but that's a neat little conversation yeah. piece. Now, whose idea was that? Yours or WBG's? Uh, it was, it, I think you inspired it. I did. No, 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 he did. Yeah. Oh, I thought. No, how EJ, did I? Yeah, EJ kind of was like we were kind of brainstorming. brainstorming. Okay. Anyway, but speaking of, it doesn't say your name on it. Yes. Do you have your name written any place else on any other article, article of clothing well, you might wear? I mean, my wife sews my name into the, you know, in case I lose it <laughs> yeah. when she gets into my lunch when I come <laughs> off to the casino. Because <laughs> I often, I leave shirts here in the, yeah. you know, all the time in and, uh, and the high limit room. Um, Did your parents do that? What? Like write your name on your I don't clothing? think so, but I, it seemed like a good joke to tell. Yeah. But, uh, but no, I think my mom was too lazy to do that. That's my guess. Did you did you wear Garanimals when you were a kid? I did not, but I remember seeing the commercials. Yeah. Garanimals are that way, like if, in case your parents had no sense of style, you just with match the, lion, the, with the lion, lion top with the and lion bottom. Right, and the zebra top. With the, yeah, exactly. Why, now, did you wear Garanimals? I did not, but I remember it. It was a big thing. 
Now, I would, if there's still such a thing as, as large size Garanimals, if you would dress up in Garanimals <laughs> one day on the video, I would pay a lot of money I'll to see that. What, I'll tell you what, if they exist, yeah. I will do it. Find them. I will do it. Go on eBay and find some like some, some Garanimal outfits. Husky size Garanimals. <laughs> wow, it hurts when I laugh, I don't know why. Uh, well. Yeah, you put the eagle with the eagle. The buffalo with the, but we're still doing it, right? We're still trying to match up animals. Yes, there's a grand animal theme to this slot. Maybe, maybe that's why we like slot machines. Could be. Yeah, the ode to our childhood. All right, well, let's see. I guess that's about all I wanted to cover today. Well, okay, the last thing, if you guys want to get a shirt, you can go to vegasmat.shop or vegasmat.com. EJ is all business. Yeah. yeah, all business. But it is a cool shirt. Does it only come in this color? Yeah, And how would right you now. How would you describe this color? Because it's a, diff a different color, right? It's a bluish. A bluish color, yes. Yeah. And then it has white it, writing on it. It has a fancy name, and it's on a very, very high-quality shirt. Because yeah. EJ, one thing about EJ, yeah. only on the quality. best. Right? Yeah, like, because, well, a lot of these places, they have these really sando shirts, and then everything, like, you wash it once, and it looks like crap, and it's itchy all tag. Itch, itchy tag. These are comfort colors, very quality shirts. So, had you ever heard of Granimals? No. Really? No. The only thing I don't like is we don't make any money on these shirts because they cost so much to make, but I don't really care. Because yeah. we're not well, like I you said you don't like it. What? What are you talking about? You said the only thing I don't like. About is not making any yeah. money. I like making money, but then I don't really, I don't want to make money on the on the people. Yeah. You know, people, all we want them to do is watch us win 100000 and it's be actually, happy about it. We make it. like a couple bucks. But. Oh, we do? All right, that's good. But it's not nothing. But we have to pay the people to do it. Yeah, to put it in the envelopes and set it. Yeah, yeah I that's, mean, whatever. That's expensive. So, Something about your animals. Nothing I don't know why I'm stuck here. in your animals. Yeah, you really yeah. are, yeah. yeah let's, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe I felt left out when I was a kid that I didn't have them. Uh, you strike me as a guy who did wear your animals, and you're still, <laughs> you're still embarrassed to talk about it. Like, you probably, like, that, that probably was a traumatic part of your childhood, getting sent off to first grade in your animals, and getting, like, teased oh, at school. Oh, you know me too well, yeah. Vegas, Matt. Do you remember Fuzzy Wuzzy? Was a bear? Fuzzy it Wuzzy was, did had not no hair. had no hair. Yeah. Fuzzy Wuzzy was he? wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. Was he? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. Wait. Do you remember that? I'm looking at our live subscriber count right now, and it <laughs> seems to be going down. <laughs> Why would it drop? <laughs> well, this isn't live, is it? No, I'm no. joking. Oh. But no, I don't remember anything that you guys ever talk about. I want to understand. How do we get switch tracked onto these crazy topics? I think usually you come up with them, and uh, and I love it. Yeah. I don't know. I just think about the stuff when we're playing. Yeah. It makes the pain of Buffalo Gold in there. Let's go. When uh when we were in when we were young, it, it, the world was a very different place, CJ. Yeah. And uh, like in the 1960s in uh, school, like they didn't do anything about bullying and stuff. Like, yeah. I mean, it was kids were just brutal, and. Uh, and yeah, and it was very, very bad. I mean, a lot of good has happened in the world since then, but it was. Oh! Uh, oh. How much did we get? $350 bill right there. Yeah, I wish it could have been better. Well, it's better. I mean, I, we're doing pretty well so far. Yeah, I mean, we're not out of money I yet. I mean, we're only down a thousand bucks, which is which is good. Is uh, WBG? I can tell what he's doing. He's What's looking he doing? for the question of the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> WBG's question of the day. That's funny. Well, what I like is that, that he remembers stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would forget everything. Yep. I liked that short that we did today when when the uh, with the, the uh, wink. Yeah. I didn't know about People the wink. Loved your well, wink. they walk by and they like right in the end of the video. Yeah, they yeah, I was yeah. just trying to be polite without saying you know you're. you're I'm in the middle of filming here, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm I'm always nice to the people. You have a good wink. Yeah. So interestingly, Go this ahead. is com completely coincidental. Yes. The very first question I came across is shirt related. Honest to God, is what? This shirt related. Oh, shirt related. Yeah. It says so. Patty Smith six one four nine asks. I was wondering how many sessions do you guys tape in one day, and does Vegas Matt bring a different shirt to change into for each one? How funny is that? That's, that's a completely I saw that question. question earlier today. No, it was posted one minute ago. Really? Yes. Hmm. Then that's been asked twice today. I can answer that. Go ahead. EJ. I'd say on average we film about 1.6 videos per day. 
when we go to the casino. I'll take the under. It's probably about one and a third. Yeah, because we do like one a day usually. Yeah. But we and always we but go, I bring we an extra shirt. We don't go to the shirt. casino every single day. Yes, Most we do. Days. Most days, yeah. When did we not go to the but, casino? Like, well, I know we took one day off like last week, I think. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying, but like we only have like three videos ahead. So if we never go every day, at the very most, three. yeah, three. So well, like the one from today, we actually I think we did two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. Anyway, ask Patty's waiting oh. eagerly for this answer. So, so shirts. So I mean, I usually bring a couple shirts because like maybe we'll do it. You know, we do a short and then this. I mean, I don't like to wear the same shirt in too many videos in a row. Oh, and someone else asked the question, but they phrased it as kind of like a being a, a jerk off. Uh, they're like, why do you wear these cheap fake? concert t-shirts and that gaudy gold chain. So I thought, can we do two questions of the day? I'll answer that too. Yeah, you can do as many as you I want. I want to hear your answer to this. I don't know if you this. realize this, but this is your show. Oh, <laughs> and then I also um, answered that, because I know that you guys don't like me to say anything except for nice things in the comments, but time to time I get in there and you know say a few things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, oh. oh, where are the buffaloes here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, but I just said, yeah, they're because I got to wear all these different shirts. We buy them at Target and, or different places, you know, cheap places, and then, and then they're just to make conversation in the comments. So thank you for doing what we want it to do. So I kind of, that's something that you might have said. Yeah, you know what? So maybe they would, if you wore all those super expensive $800 shirts that I know you have in your closet. Yeah, and then they just say what an asshole I am for yeah. wearing expensive shirts. Uh, so yeah, I like wearing the T-shirts, and then they, they are conversation starters. And then the gaudy gold chain, was I bought it off a friend of mine because people were saying gold was gonna go up I don't know a year or two ago and I was like oh I gotta buy more gold and then he's like oh I gotta sell this chain and I'm like well how much does it weigh and how much is it worth and then I found out like what the cheapest pawn shop guy in the world would pay for it and then I offered him a little less than that in cash and then I bought it just for the gold value and then I wore it and then it got a lot of comments and then I've worn it every day since it's you become like, it, like my like trademark now. Yeah, I'm like it the, is. Yeah. Now you feel naked without it. Yeah, Come I, on. Do. I do. Well, a lot of times. Yeah, I, we needed that. A lot of times I wear it naked. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> so I don't feel naked without it. I feel naked with it. All right. Okay. So look at that. All so you gotta, okay, here's what you need now. This is good. Two coins is the main thing we need. Yeah. Every, every time, time you get, get two coins, you get more games. Yep. Sorry to interrupt you. And then you need the gold buffalo heads, 15 of them. Let's go. Yeah, the buffalo heads, after you get a couple of them, they, re they replace, like, four replaces the eagles. That's a joke. Coin. Uh, we got one, but we needed the coin. Okay, coin. Uh, that's good, but coins are better. That's good, but coins are better. Yeah. And plus, winning is better, too. One more to change the eagles to buffaloes. Coins are better, because if you get enough coins, you'll eventually get all the buffalo yeah, heads. Yeah, exactly right. No, you need two coins, not one. Buffalo heads. All right, we got the eagles. So now all eagle symbols become buffaloes. And now we need the coins. Badly. So there's a sando so far. Coin. Not, yeah. Dang it. Come on, coins. Idiot. Terrible. 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 Many such cases. Yeah, a lot of times when you get this bonus, it's a sando. But sometimes it's the best bonus in the history of bonuses. Are you going to change to noms or? Uh, I don't know. You know, I was kind of enjoying that because we didn't get wrecked so fast. And I mean, on 30 bucks, we could win $100,000. So I, I was going to stay on that denom and get a better bonus next time. What do you think? I like it. I think that's, I think that's good. I just know sometimes you like to bounce around. Well, because a lot of times we'll have like, uh, you know, $5,000 and we'll lose it in like five minutes. And this, is, this has been very enjoyable. I wanted to point something out about the shirts. Go ahead. Because some, it's not always just for conversation. Sometimes it's uh, it's usually about something that you like or enjoy. Oh, well, yeah, a lot like of times he wears it is. Zoops. But he was talking about the cheap fake concert t-shirts specifically, and that's the, that was my yeah. Like like you know you got me all those. I don't think they're fake. Well, no, yeah. Well, I didn't really go to the concert. You bought it at Target, so. Well, no, they're just rock band shirts. They're not okay. concert shirts. But the guy's a dickhead. You know what I mean? And yeah. he's just trying to give me shit. I don't really care what he says. Yeah, ignore the haters. Okay. Uh, 
or maybe he's a wonderful person, and if that's you and you're still watching, thank you for watching, and you're not a dickhead, I'm sure you just, you didn't mean to come across that way. You're probably wonderful, and you're probably just concerned. Just when I started to think that this phone was good. The phone died? The phone froze. So did we not know, it? Did, no. you, did you see the part about when we got the bonus, you think? Yeah, we got the, yeah, 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 I got that. Okay. Anyway, five of eight. And we're, it's another Sando, so, so you didn't far, miss, yeah. you didn't miss much. Uh, we're getting we're getting the buffalo heads, but we're just not getting the coins. I noticed it didn't freeze long enough for you to go change your shirt or anything. No. Coin! Son of a... That was even worse. Yeah, that was not good. All right, go do you ahead. want to rewind it and see what we missed? No, go ahead. Okay. All right, well, let's just get another one. That's how bonuses are. But, I mean, those are two really... Horrific bonuses that yeah, we just got. Should that we try one? a max bet uh, 10 senses? Go move it up to 36 bucks. Or you like this bet? I don't really care. I mean, we could try max bet 10 senses. That's usually been a sando for us in the past, but uh, we can try it. I have a feeling max bet 10 senses yeah. is eventually going to be the one that brings it home. Brings it home, huh? I think so. I don't know, I've always been a, like a bigger Denom guy. I think when it comes to Denom, size matters. Yeah? Yeah. You know, that's, some people say that. I think most people do. Sino Kelly, what's up? Where? Uh, oh, yeah. They were playing uh, Bonus Streak on their live stream a little I while ago. That. Yeah. All right, come on, coins. So EJ, what else? What else is going on around here in Vegas? You doing anything exciting? Am I doing anything? Well, uh, no. You work all the time. I uh, yeah, gamble and edit and have a good time. Yeah. Work on T-shirt designs. I had some friends in town. We went to the house, took a jacuzzi. Oh really? Yeah, we don't time. do the jacuzzi too much. I, I was saying I hadn't, I hadn't been in the jacuzzi in a long time. At my house. It's, uh, it's just a bad joke. <laughs> Took the jacuzzi. But, you said you took a jacuzzi. Oh. Come on now. Uh, least expect it. Um, Idiot. So you were saying you don't go on the jacuzzi much? No, I mean, we've been just all we ever do, it seems, is like yeah. gamble and work and go places and stuff. And I used to take like a hot tub every night. But well, you take a steam every day. I take a steam every day. As a matter of fact, mom took a picture of me in the steam today. And then, and then uh, she was going to put it on Snapchat. And then. I looked at it and it was very foggy, but I, they, you know, like you could see me in the in the steam, and I was thinking like, you know, the next thing I know, someone's gonna like, you know, do something to the photography and like, you know, filter out the steam and have a, you know, there there I am in all my glory on the on the thing, and I'm like, I'm not sending this to the Snapchat. What happened? Is that the picture? Oh, is that? <laughs> did she send it? Oh, did she send it? To, oh, she sent it to the, the folder, but she, all right, yeah. somebody's gonna do something with it. But it, it never got never got posted. But I just think it's weird. But uh, a lot of we have a lot of weird behind the scenes stuff on the Snapchat, yeah. which is it's Vegas Matt. My daughter manages it, but I I, I draw the line at nudes. Coin. Idiot. Well, we're getting wrecked for a thousand dollars on uh, Max Bet Dimes, just so you know, which is very. I thought we had twenty nine when you started. No, we had thirty five. Really? Yeah. 35, 36. So. I was busy looking at that picture of you and that. Yeah. All right, this is a Sando. What, what about quarters? I forget. Uh, uh, that, we can just let it. Let the well, that's 15. 15. That doesn't seem. That doesn't seem. 30. Let's try 30 on quarters for a minute. What is that one? That's two. That's more. Five. Yeah, I mean, let's just try thirty because we. We. I don't. I don't want to run out of money like we always do on this game. I want to get a good bonus before we run out of money. I mean, if that dude can make twenty thousand dollars on a six dollar bet, we can make a hundred thousand dollars on a thirty dollar bet. I and can't, in, I can't wait. And in the meantime, we can get wrecked less. All right, come on. All we need is one good bonus with a ton of coins and 15 buffalo heads. Uh, and if that other guy can do it, we certainly can do it. You know, I missed a great opportunity to give a shout out to Palm Beach Matt. When I said EJ's all business, I should have said that EJ stands on business. Stand on it. 
there because that's a that's a Palm Beach madism. I mean, I don't yeah, think he, he brought came it up in with from it. pop. He brought it into our lives. Yeah, from pop culture or whatever. Right. Thank you for that Palm Beach Matt. Palm Beach Matt. Now, was he always called Palm Beach Matt, or did he just become called? I that? think I think we gave him that moniker. Help with that. I mean, she just got to go to the emergency dentist. A lot of crazy stuff has happened today, by the way. I mean, some days are like that. How about a, how about a crazy bonus here? Uh, yeah, well, I'd like something crazy good to happen, that's for sure. All right. This, I think I'm just going to go back to my, what I was originally doing well with. Back to the club? Yeah. We lost like two grand on these different bets. There we go. Oh, there we don't go. Is that a hundred bucks? Two hundred bucks? I'll take it. It just seems like the buffaloes. You should just get like all of them, you know. And we played this so much that we should get. Well, I guess we did with that with forty-four thousand on Buffalo Ascension. That must have been like all buffaloes and wilds. I forget. All right, here we go. And then we're gonna get a chance right now. Ready? Let's go. No. No. I would have thought that would have been it. A little rich little piggies going on behind us. Yep. It is. It is a loud one. I turned the volume down on it. I think they turned it back up. It does have some of the best music out there. It is a good song. You feel very happy when you're getting this music. They gotta give you the happy music because they know you're not getting the double pop. Those other guys a little while ago got yeah, a triple, triple pop. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Were you jealous? Very. Extremely, yeah. yeah. We didn't get a triple pop the other day when we were in whatever we were in, 40 grand. Alright, come on now. Let's get a bonus. This game, it is fun when you win. I just haven't experienced that yet, but I've heard. Very fun when you get 100. I did, that guy was excited. I mean, can you imagine if you got six bucks and you won 20,000? Yeah, you never expect to win that much money when you're betting six. No. I'd be excited. I'd be excited if I won 100 grand. As a matter of fact, a couple days ago I did, yeah. and uh, I was very excited. That was a fun tournament. I'm actually still quite jovial about yeah, that. Yeah, that's hard. To, that's a that's a mood changer that lasts a while. Well, let's say as mad as I get about losing ten grand, yeah. I'm ten times that happy for winning. I don't there. believe you. No. There's no way you're ten times happier than you are right. mad. Yeah, ten x. You are way no. I'm like Grant I'd Cardone. I'd say you are equally happy to mad. I think I'm happier than I am mad. When you lose. Although it la I was saying it lasts 10 times as long because it's 10 times as much oh, as 10 yeah. grand. So it offsets 10 bad moves. So as mad as you were that day when we lost on the Rich Little Piggies and then on Video Poker after, you say you're 10 times as happy as you were mad then? I don't know. I have a great way to boil this down. If you were to lose ten thousand dollars today, yeah, would that make you only ninety percent as happy? That would take that, ten, would that you won, or would, and it would take away not. It would take away ten percent of my happiness. But that means you wouldn't be upset about the ten thousand. No, it would I, just reduce your happiness. Yeah, and then another ten would reduce it down to eighty. And then if I lose ten too many times, like right. so, the whole hundred grand goes away. Yeah. Then I go back to mad. Okay. So right. basically, my mood is reliant on my bank. So we got five or six days solid of yeah that's of me being good spirits. Unless we get this coin bonus right now. Come on out. Uh, I'm wondering if a couple fast spins might work. Appears not. I don't I, think you actually think fast spins work. I just think you are impatient. Impatient. Yeah. Yes. Well. They do work. I mean, sometimes they do. You know, it gets the bonus faster. It doesn't get the bonus cheaper, though. Well, when, when you say faster, you mean in a shorter amount of time. Not, yes, not exactly. But I think Vegas Matt is implying that it takes fewer spins if you fast spin. I think that people's 
Well, some people think you, you can people actually stop the reels like where you want them to stop. Well, you can. Now you definitely can do it. Really? No. No. Come on. It feels like it, though. It gives you that, that sensation. Yeah. I do know people who insist that they can. And, I mean, I can't prove that they can't, but it doesn't seem logical to me. The big city with all the shiny lights in the middle of the desert? Yes. That pretty much proves they can't. Yes. Oh, you mean Vegas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like an oasis in the desert. That's, well, yeah, you know yeah, how they built that? Yeah. Yeah. Not by having some guy who thinks he knows that he can stop the reels on a slot machine. Right. A lot of people on, that are influencers on social media have proprietary slot techniques that yeah, they, they, do. they win oh, yeah, all the time. Yep. Now, I have a question. Yeah. That was very unsatisfactory. That's the cowbell of poverty. And uh, let's either play more of this or go take another 5,000 and go fire at Dragon Cash. What do you want to do? This. Let's try $45. What's that? It's uh, 180 quarters. That gives us a chance, you know, to hit something big. It's also not double the bet. Go ahead. Hit that there, would you? Mr. Quartier. So 180 quarters, huh? For yeah. $45? That's right. So 7,000? 7,000. In the, in the aggregate? Yeah. So we need a bonus of $7,000 here. Well, not yet. Right now it only needs to be 5,300. Well, it, yeah, that'll work. Get it sooner rather than later. I mean, just one thing about this game that I've noticed is that when you're not winning, you sure are losing a lot. Uh, like, every spin is a zero. Yeah, well, this game's going to be like that. It's so top-heavy, right? When you get the, the thing is, is, can you name another game that you can win so many bets other than some kind of Buffalo game like this? They're um, so, so top-heavy. I think that's like 600 bucks right there. And that's just 10 senses. Well, that's Four good. I, I was, the machine didn't like me talking bad about it, so it decided to give me something there. I like it. I reverse psychologized it. Uh, I don't know, like I can think of a game. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe if it had like a progressive and you hit like the, the, the okay. grand. But still, you're not gonna win that much. I mean, usually those are like 10 or 11 grand on smaller genomes. But on a progressive, you're taking a little bit of every single spin. I don't like this bet. I still, I think we should go to 60 bucks. All right, whatever you say. What do you, you know, if it, let's just go big. Sure. On, because they're due on 50 cents. I mean, hopefully I'm right. Come on, big time. Not just like Sando time. Abracadabra. Ooh, man, if that was a buffalo. If the rabbit didn't stop thick of shit, the fox wouldn't have caught him, my dad always used to say. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, oh, what a Christmas it would be. Oh! Oh! I don't think he would be a real popular these days. It was a little controversial even back then. Oh, Andrew Dice Clay? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's funny, though. I mean, he had his he had his moment. He has moment. I went and saw him like, you know, five years ago or something, and I and it was less than awesome. He did some TV show too, five or six years ago. He, he, he actually played kind of a very it was a dramatic role. Oh yeah. I have no idea what it was called. I don't remember if I ever saw it. I just remember that he was in it. He used to he used to fill stadiums. It's more than I can say for me. So, hats off, Dice. Way to do it. <laughs> I mean, some would argue that you fill a stadium every single day. All right, 345 bucks left. Come on. Sando, huh? Yep. Well, I have to do one hand to blackjack. <laughs> well. It's horrendous. Yeah, that's hopes a, so, a total Sando. 
That's yeah. We just missed a really good. That's what she said right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, that one won't go in. Oh. So we have ten thousand now. So we kind of. We will in two spins. Why won't it go in? It won't go in because it's over. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Should we switch it. Switch it to dollars. All right. Yeah. Let's let's just go sixty dollars dollar denomination. We haven't tried that yet. And fire. We we're in ten grand. Nice round number. Oh, yeah. look at that. Right out of the chute. Oh, not out of the chute. It'll go in now. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, just similar to that. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, what we need is something good here. What's funny? Nothing. I'm just thinking about a conversation you had with a viewer earlier that yeah. was just one of the funniest things you've ever said. Really? Yeah. The lady that said she loves the that's what she said jokes? Uh, it was, yeah, it was one of those. Yes. It was in that uh, yes. flurry. Yes. There was a lot of people that came up and said hi. Yes. Uh, today. Yes. It's amazing how many people know that we play here. Yeah. This well, because we play here. Yeah. Let's, I'll tell you what, if you hit this bonus, you get yeah. 15 Buffalo Heads, yeah. the world's going to know you play here. Yeah. How this great is that going to be? Gonna be? When? 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 Yeah, true. When? When? <laughs> yeah, you have to be. They got the double pop over double there. Pop. Oh, no, no. We yeah. see. Uh, an unwarranted celebration. They popped the blue and the red. Well, uh, but it's still a double pop, but it's a single pop. Come on. But we all know let's that. Be, let's be happy. I appreciate their enthusiasm. The though. blue and the yellow. Yeah. Sorry, that game has yeah, me bitter. I know, you're just sore over that game. That, yeah. was, uh, that was an incredible session. Um, well, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but we just lost another $1,000 just then. Yeah. And I have to listen to another one of these annoying rich little piggy bonuses for the next 10 minutes. The good news is one. All right. We just stopped and waited for that to be over. Yeah. They won $257. Go ahead. Don't be telling me what to do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Arnold Horshack. Remember him, EJ? No. Now, Vinny Barbarino, Mr. We Cotter. We have a friend who. Let's not exaggerate. Well. <laughs> Well, I mean, someone, an acquaintance, I'm sure. But go ahead. What well, do you no, think? Well, it's, no, it's, it's somebody who you know who. He, he used to always get called Horshack when he was growing up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who? I don't want to say the name. Why? Because then Because it'll would... annoy you. Oh, yeah? Please! Oh, you said please. That doesn't even work. Being polite doesn't work with this machine. Come on, mother. <laughs> Yes! yes! You gotta be strong with these machines, man. Oh, that's so funny. Let's, let, let's really, really, really. No, let's enjoy this. Yeah, I'm, 50 pens. I'm gonna have a little piece of my ginger from my ginger beer. All right. Here it is more coins than you've ever seen from this. First spin re trigger. Let's go. Oh, that's. That would be epic. Let's do it. Two heads to start, we don't hate it, we don't hate it. That's better than one. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, I, I went there right away. I was there way before you. No, I was there, but I was waiting for the right time. Oh, gosh, you did. Eagles. Times three, I love this one. Come on. Here. What? Let's go coins. Come on. Where are the coins? Oh, my God. Atlanta. Come on. One decent bonus for once. Idiot. Come on, point. Tens times two, four of a kind. All right, come on. What an absolute disaster. Ace is five of a kind times two. Oh, do we have a decent win or what? Oh, it's got a long ways to go. All right, so we're left with like 2600 bucks out of 10 how much is that 7400 bucks Something yeah. Like yeah it was fun you know when alfred bernstein invented the first uh slot machine wait what was his name charles fay i knew it was something <laughs> charles fay invented the slot machine i don't think you know he was thinking 777 cherries you know give a little money back lemons, take bells, a, yeah lemons yeah. bells you know put the quarters in the machine he, i don't think he ever dreamt 
that some idiots would be putting $10,000 into a machine that doesn't even have cherries, doesn't pay nothing, you just get wrecked. And then every once in a while, you pay somebody a hundred grand. So old Alfred, uh, here's a tribute to you, this shirt, and that 7,400 bucks that we just wasted on this game, Buffalo Gold Collection, that one day we're gonna jack out of the park like old Babe Ruth. Boom. And it's gonna be a hundred grand plus. And if you wanna watch that, it's only one thing you can do. Well, actually there's a few things you can do, but one of the ones that I would suggest is hit the old subscribe button and watch. And we'll be doing this again tomorrow.